I'm Chanel. Welcome to my bookbinding studio. This Journal With Me series is all about supporting you in your creative journey. Our creative expression is linked to our physical and mental wellness. You know that. If you're feeling stuck or lost, know that it is only temporary. These journal prompts may not be transformative, but I hope they can help you expand a little so that you can breathe and find your way. These feelings are so uncomfortable. When I feel stuck, I'm usually spiraling and overthinking about one thing that I can't seem to get past. And when I'm lost, I feel existential. I don't know who I am, where I'm going, and why I'm here. Feeling stuck and lost is totally valid. These recent years have all of us searching for ways to escape our realities. Whether it be grief, burnout, depression, and anxiety, I felt like I had no choice but to live with it. Which means staying open and asking myself, what can I learn from this moment in time? The main way I like to journal is free writing. Free writing is putting a free flow of thoughts on paper without lifting your pen as much as possible. I've had to unlearn and be okay with not being articulate in my journal because my mind and thoughts are messy and I want to understand them as much as possible. Here are some things I want to encourage. Don't censor yourself. Allow yourself to write things that you might not normally say out loud. Don't try to be deep or meaningful. Just write what pops in your head. Over time, you'll naturally dig deeper and see patterns that are meaningful to you. Journaling is a process for you and you only. Let's get rid of the belief that there is good or bad writing. Whatever comes out on the page is good. Acknowledge your inner critic if it arrives and let them go. What they have to say is not at all important. There will be two prompts. The first one will take three minutes and the second one will take six minutes. Get cozy, grab your favorite journal and pen, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, here's the first prompt. Let's meditate on feeling stuck or lost. What are some questions that are coming to mind right now? Let one question lead to the next. Don't answer them, just write a list. This is a way to clear your mind and allow yourself to sit with the uncertainty. For example, how can I stay open while I feel lost and uncertain? What am I meant to be doing now in this world and moment in time? How can I best connect with others? We have three minutes.
Here's the main prompt. Where do you come from? Start each sentence with I come from. Then write a description of something that may relate to your identity, your culture, your community, or your ancestry. Use the five senses, sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. They could be real or imagined memories, places, people, and more. There are no limitations, and the more specific, the better. When I felt lost, I needed to remember and return to who I am and where I belong. For example, I come from the sights of bustling streets with an abundance of fruits and fish harvested that morning. I come from the smell of my grandma's menthol on cold winter days. I come from the taste of savory chicken pho every Saturday night. I come from sounds of children laughing and crying, aunties and uncles singing karaoke, and multiple languages layered on top of each other. I will leave the prompt with the senses on the screen for you. Just look up when you need to move on to the next sense. Let's write for six minutes.
All right, you did it. As I was writing, I was surprised to see the kinds of memories that came up, little blips of experiences. So um, one line from my journal says, I come from quiet afternoons at the library, being immersed in fantastical stories. This memory is important to me because I think it was my introduction to storytelling and um, imagination and being immersed in stories. It's interesting that such a specific memory can paint a whole picture. A lot of my other statements related to my home culture and the foods that I ate. It's really just one way that helps me change my mindset a little. Of course, getting unstuck and finding our way will take time and will require doing more than one thing. I encourage you to take an action today. Move your body or do whatever feels soothing. Thank you so much for your time and honesty today. If you feel comfortable, I would love to hear one line from your journal in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed these prompts. I have a lot of fun making these journal with me videos and I get to think out of the box for my own creative prompts too. I hope to go a little bit deeper with every video or kind of jump around um, and touch on different aspects of creativity and creative expression. Let me know if you tried it and what you think about it. You watching and participating really means a lot to me. That's all I have for today. Your feedback would be super appreciated and I'll see you next time.